Fuck. Welcome to the Sacrament Podcast, episode 21. Okay, so apparently that was the wrong... I don't know why I had that labeled as intro. Yeah, I'll resolve that later. All right, so... <clears throat> um, so I'm looking at my, my, uh, my scales over here, and it's not saying I've got any volume coming across the, the system itself. Can you... Did you guys hear any music with that, uh... Hold on, let me jump on Microphone over Microphone activated, Zoom. channel switch. Hey, real quick, did you guys hear any music with that video? Yes. All right, cool. Channel switched, sound Microphone muted. muted. All right, I had to make sure. This is supposed to give me green lines and shit, and it wasn't, so. All right. Yeah, non-U.S. typically aren't going to care about United States shit. All right, so for those of you that are here that are watching this um, that just showed up, uh, you'll notice a difference in in not the layout necessarily, but what's in the bottom look, right corner of the screen. I still haven't figured out how this how this works and how it displays on the screen. So uh, over there is yeah that way. So that way, God, this, this stuff is bad. Um, that is uh, some of the newest images we have in essentially the highest definition quality we could absolutely capture them in uh, of the in-game world that we've currently got in place. So I figured instead of having a forums or, or down there that I'm not even going to touch during this episode or haven't touched the last few episodes, um, I could give you guys a little bit of eye candy while we talk and while you wait for the flyover sneak preview. So... I almost gave you guys the initial part of the flyover video that probably wouldn't have been too good. Uh, it's not ready quite yet for you guys, but it's almost there. All the in-game footage is shot. The, the, the second half of it now needs to be recorded and, and added to it. So um, so what did we talk about last week? Last week we talked, or not last week, week before that, because we've gone to the, the bi-weekly. I have to fix that, though, because I hadn't considered uh, that the, the uh, IRs, I'm going to be doing those the Friday after the IR, so this Friday I'll be doing another one, and then we'll go to the bi-weekly format. So I apologize for that. That was my mistake. Overshot it. But at the same time, I get to give you something this week, uh, something that you really want. So I think it, it worked out. Uh, last week, I guess we talked about unique class systems. None of you bastards went over to the forums and laid any out, so I'll be bringing that up again later. But, you know, and primary resource names. There's a, there's a good conversation going on with that over on the forums. I made a, a new um, question about it, and people are responding to it. So I do like some of the points, the conversation happening. I still think half of you are wrong. I think um, that – I'm just, just kidding. I don't think you're inherently wrong. I just don't think you realize it. I'm just fucking around. Yeah, so new poll. Five people care about the resource names. Five people don't. So it's a split. Um and those of you that care are just like Crave. So uh, even Crave is just like Crave, believe it or not. It's weird. I know, crazy coincidence, but it's true. All right, so before I show you this video, I just wanted to, uh, as we're moving into the Kickstarter phase now, right? So now we're, we're beginning to do interviews and prepare for Kickstarter. It's going to be roughly three weeks from here. Um... We'll give you the exact day, 
that we're going to launch it in about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. But know that three to four weeks from now, Kickstarter will be going. So we're in a, in a massive media blitz um, to try to figure out exactly or to, to get the information out there, a little bit more information, get the videos out there, get images out there, get people on board uh, more than, than we already have on board. Ultimately, we want like, you know, 50K people on board will be absolutely freaking amazing. If I get 50,000 people to show up and donate 10 bucks, I'll be the happiest motherfucker in the world. So, but um, while we're doing that, you know, there have been some reviews out there and some really craves never write. Don't believe him. There are some really good reviews out there. Uh, MMO dot, I think it's MMO.com, MMO.org. I don't have it pulled up right now, but this was a, uh, somebody has that. Can you please, Knight, can you, can you get that link for me again? Uh, and send it to me in TeamSpeak, because you're not going to be able to link it in this, this channel. Send in doesn't like my, my beard, and he doesn't agree with you, Crave. Honestly, I don't know if he's a reliable source for me, so. Thank you very much. MMO, MMOs.com. Yep, all right, so there it is. Ah, uh, shit, I don't have the review link. Anyway, so MMOs.com, so that's MMOs.com. Um, put up a, a decent review. We'll get a link specifically for our review. It's in an email somewhere. I'm not going to sit here and, and search for it. Um, if one of my guys would find that, the link specifically to it and send it to me, much appreciated. Oh, slash review slash sacrament. Cool. All right. So thank you, Steel, for that. In case you haven't seen it, <coughs> uh, and... Admittedly, we've been so focused on this video that we kind of, not kind of, we've absolutely let our, our media um, slip. And that's something we're working on. As I've said before, it is one of our two weak points. We are not media and we're not developers. Um, it's not going to be an issue for us to build teams for these things specifically. So it's it's not a problem, not an ultimate problem. Uh, it, it may be a short problem, but it's, it's not an, an ultimate problem at all. So, yep, got that. All right, so essentially their review is, is actually really good. Um, they give us a, a really nice review. Here, you know what I, I'm going to do? I'm going to remove or take the slideshow away for a second. So this is this is the review. It's very short, sweet, and to the point. Um, and it goes into essentially it gives a really good look at how how dynamic and complex a game is, is going to be. Um, they really, I think they, they absolutely captured what it is that our game is going to be about. The only thing about it was, was the cons, okay? Now, if anybody from MMO, MMOs.com is watching, this is not an insult to you, okay? I appreciate this review. Absolutely appreciate this review. But look at this, all right? Overly ambitious feature list. When in the world, when the hell, did gamers ever get labeled as, as overly ambitious as a con? When was that ever a con? Your basic tabletop games are overly ambitious. The entire MMO world is overly ambitious. Do you have any idea how massive an MMO is? Just to make, forget about the people playing it. How incredibly complex it is to make a working MMO that can hold 50 people. Every bit of it is overambitious. Every bit of it. That's a that's just how it is. Uh, early in development, yeah. I, I mean, you can call that a con if you want. Depending, if you want to play it tomorrow, yes, it's a it's a con. If you understand that we're releasing information so that we're constantly in touch with people from the beginning to the end, instead of a year before launch then starting to get you involved and then you're stuck with all the systems we've created and there's no way to go about it then that's not a con uh so that's 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 the way you want to look at it but this one right here is the one that really got me okay 
the overly ambitious, I can get that. Okay, I, I, I can feel that. You, you can say, if you're one of the hyper safe people, you can say, okay, the MMO is really complex, but at the same time, do we really need all this stuff? Um, no, we don't need all this stuff. We just, we want all this stuff. And if I'm going to pay a development team to do shit, I'm going to pay them to build a game that as a gamer, I want to fucking play. So, it might seem overly ambitious. Honestly, games nowadays don't release with nearly enough stuff. And I'm not talking about content. I'm talking about enough stuff. And you wind up with four classes or or eight classes, and every class is stuck to a weapon type, or every class is stuck to a race, or all these limitations. And that's not the MMO world we fucking created 15 years ago. Okay? We have gone the opposite direction of why we loved MMOs and why they became popular in the first fucking place, and we've now capped everything. So call us overly ambitious. Consider it con if you want. I love it. I'll take it. The one that gets me, though, is this one. Tier system may bottleneck players. All right, so anybody watching from MMOs.com, I want you to understand this is not insulting to you, okay? This is not an attack on you. This is nothing towards you at all. This is towards the entire system that is currently the MMO landscape. This is players. This is developers. This is publishers. This is everybody involved because it's not your fault. That would not be a con unless a lot of players agreed that, that that type of thing would be a con, okay? So it's not your fault. You're reporting what you understand players see. I get that. But when, when in the motherfuck did, did gaming become so easy and basic to get from point A to to point Z that nothing in the middle mattered and it was considered bottlenecking. When did we start calling that bottlenecking? Why is that considered bottlenecking? That the entire game is 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 a landscape that you're going to play. That the entire game now becomes end game and it's not just about raids or it's not just about max level. Why is that bottle? What the fuck have we done as players that we've allowed that to become a thing? That's not bottlenecking. That is called creating meaningful content. That is called working your ass off to be creative enough to even consider this thing, let alone create the design documents to understand how you're going to create that meaningful content and then making it all meaningful. Why is it that a game that... Levels 1 through 50 is considered one hour content. It takes you 12 hours tops to get all the way through. And it, it does none of that bothers anybody. That entire space is now useless. Absolutely useless and only useful for leveling. And that's acceptable. But to play in that space, to be in that space, to be level 3 for 3 days or 5 days or whatever the case is called bottlenecking. Why? What have we done to this fucking landscape that we've screwed it up that much? That's that's my only issue. And it's not with, again, it's not with MMOs.com, okay? That is essentially how the entire market from the ground up is used to seeing it. That's how everybody sees all of this shit. So, again, MMOs.com, that's not a hit on you. It's got nothing to do with you, honestly. You simply pointed out a major issue, okay? It's, it really is a major issue. Think about it. I mean, look at this. One of the biggest culprits is sitting right here. One of the biggest culprits is sitting right here. Star Wars, The Old Republic, okay? Absolutely useless content for the first 50 fucking levels. Ah. Why? God, I just, it, man, that, I saw that, and I, I didn't lose my shit at the review, because I really love this review, I think this is probably one of the most honest reviews uh, of our game that I've seen, um, I think most people that are going to knock this are going to knock it uh, because it's early in development, and because, uh, another con, I'm not going to get into this week, uh, but it's uh, the idea that, that we have no experience in game development, or releasing games and therefore we can't release a game. I'll get into that next week. We're, we're not even touching that shit right now. But um, those are really the only two reasons why anybody's going to gonna rate this thing less than a four star. Maybe a five star. 
I just don't see any other any other reason. And we can call this ugly baby syndrome. Honestly, uh, when it comes down to it, I'm one of the few people that critique every motherfucking thing I do. Like, I noticed this podcast got problems. I know it fucking sucks. I'm not stupid, okay? I'm not retar- I'm going to put people in here who could do a much better job at this once I have those people to do it. I need to be able to pay those people uh, or they just haven't heard about the game because I don't have anybody on my full volunteer force that that can or wants to do that kind of thing right now, which is fine. We we have a job to do. We're going to do it and I'm going to do anything I need to to get that job done. If my current actions are proving anything, it's one that my promise to be open and honest with you is, is absolute. And I, I've proven that. And two, we're going to do every fucking thing to get this game. All right? It's not just about release. It's not just about can we release the game. The real question is, because as complex and difficult as that is, the funding's out there. I could reach a million different ways to, to get the funding. it would take a little longer, a lot longer, uh, depending on certain ways. And there's a lot of risk involved in, in other ways. Um the, the reality is it's, it's far more about creating the game that we're talking about. Creating the game that we drew up in our first concept document. So. Fucking Crave. Yeah, Hudika, I agree. Um, there's a lot of, of controversy when I bring that up. But yeah, absolutely. I agree there. WoW made it easier for people to play the MMO. And. I think that that fit its market because it wasn't geared towards an EverQuest Final Fantasy Eve market. It was geared towards a market that wanted to be a little bit more social and still have some of the complexity of the MMO more than anything. Unfortunately, what we see now is games that aren't even social, that aren't even difficult. There's no real fucking market. You let me let me give you a marketing 101, okay? And this is this is like one of the first fucking things you learn in college, all right? When you try to figure out who you're marketing your game towards, and even we have to figure out who the fuck we're marketing our game towards, and we already did. Uh, I've made it clear. Uh, You cannot use everybody. That's not a fucking market, okay? Everybody is not a fucking market. You have to define your market. You absolutely have to. But all these games want, oh, we're making a game for everybody. What? But hold on, million dollar marketers are telling you that's not possible. And you wonder why you fail. I'm just saying, you wonder why you fail. Alright, so anyway. Absolutely, Lustblood. I agree with that. He says, always best to be honest with games that you want to last. There is no better truth than that. If you want longevity, and there's a few more things in that... But that's a must. I really believe it's a must. Uh, you can ask any member on this team, past, present, future. I I thrive to be absolutely open and honest because I don't think that we're going to have all the answers. And I think that you guys, not working on this game, you guys that want to play this game, are going to have some ideas that are going to help us get past barriers that are going to help improve the quality of the game. Uh, and if you're investing money into this, I think you deserve information on it. I mean, that's... If I'm making an investment on something, I either want the product, the service, or to know what the fuck's going on until I get the product or service. And that's just how I am. Maybe that's American of me. I don't really know. I don't know how the rest of the world views it, but that's how I view it. And so the way I expect to be treated, because I can tell you right now, I don't take shit from anybody. Uh, if I if I give you money, you're giving me my fucking shit. And there's no, no quietness about that shit. Uh, but if I expect that from people then I need to give that to people at the same time. So, <sighs> yeah, they're confused with everybody and anybody. Anybody you can get. Anybody you can get. So, <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. We're not getting into Samsung here. Stop it, Knight. Stop it. We're not, we're not doing this here. All right. So, let's get to what the fuck you guys are here for. All right. And I'm absolutely excited about this. I know you guys have been ignoring me and, and drooling over the, the Im- images. Yeah, the images. Uh, so I think it's time to to get the video rolling, huh? Let me find it real quick. Make sure I make sure I got the right one, because apparently I had, <laughs> I had the wrong intro. I named it something wrong, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But that that's an easy fix, honestly. All right. So yes, this is it. All right. Oh. 
Oh, ignore that. Ignore that. Don't listen to that. There we go. Okay. So, and I kid you not, guys, this, this is, yet yeah, a flyover is not ready only because it's not complete. Uh, the in-game images are ready. So, uh, I think we're going to be releasing this uh, to the public as well over the next week. Uh, this might actually be better than the flyover, oddly enough. But I think the flyover needs that element of sales to it. As much as I don't want to be a salesman, uh, we have to respect the fact that we have to we have to sell sell our product to get people to invest in it. Which means we have to you know relate to to certain aspects of of the sales game. So here we go. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, take a look at that. This is what I'm talking about. That first shot. For the most part, now there's some some areas like down here where it's oh uh, you can't even see my my mouse apparently. Let me see if I can. All right, cool. So I can't do that. Um, but for the most part, this looks like somebody went and and filmed this shit. So, all right, I'm gonna shut up now. Here you go. All right, so I'm told there's no sound here. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell that's about. Let me check uh, one of my settings real quick. I apologize. I asked if there was sound on the other one. Somebody said yes, so I assumed that it was it was correct. Oh. I don't know. All right, so we're just going to start. Let me pull up a few things over here. Move them <clears throat> out of the way. We do have music. Uh, you're you're going to hear a lot of music coming from us shortly. All right, so I'm just going to try to uh, regurgitate what Knight's actually saying in the video. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't, that's the thing, man. I got the, the settings open on audio. There's no, there's no way to pull it from, from the system. Like it pulls checks conversation just fine. Anybody talking into it, it pulls just fine. But once, hold on. 
yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to narrate it on my own. <coughs> uh... Sorry, I'm, he did he did a great job with the narration and explained stuff. I don't want to miss out on that, but I we'll see if I can find the resolution real quick. I got video, audio, but I've got nothing. I'm missing something here clearly. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. All right, so we're just going to go with my narration on this. Because for some reason it's not, and I don't want you guys not seeing this shit. So if you got questions, I apologize. I thought that was good to go. I started getting pings in team speaking. So, all right, so here we go. Okay, it's not, it's not here, so. so what we've got here. Maybe it's... Hold on. Tell me if this works. Can you guys hear it now? You see the sun is actually right here, right? So you see the trees are kind of dark. And if you move in, kind of brighten up a little bit. Um, this side is completely black. Um, that's because of the dynamic shadowing. And if I go on this side, you can see the actual, you know, the bark of the tree... Um, we do have different trees in here as well. Um, here's one right here. You can see the detail on this. This one I like because the leaves are a little bit more... Uh, you can jump high. If I can jump to get you to see them. Uh, let's see if I can find another one. Here we go. Um, some good detail here. Very good detail. Let's head over there. And I know that uh, while I'm running here, this is the uh, little bridge we have here. Well, not the bridge, but... I talked a lot of shit. And um, from the last podcast, this is the... Uh, what they were referring to when we were talking about it, which would be the, the uh, little road here. Alright, making my way over to the, uh, the bridge made of the fallen logs. Alright, I had to resume it again just because this is a better angle on it. Yonder. Alright, a little pit stop before we go, and this is just an example of kind of how like the grass can sway in the wind. And I did want to show you the water textures up close. Right? I mean, they're beautiful. Beautiful water textures. One more pit stop along the way. I just wanted to stop here because I mean, this is a pretty shot. I like it. Trees flowing, you got the grass flowing. Alright, on our way. Okay, so we finally made it to the tree bridge, or log bridge, I should say. Um, like I said, the direction of the sun is coming that way. It's going to shine a little bit of uh, colors there, but just to get up close and personal here. And uh, that's, this is a different kind of water texture. Um, it's not the same as the one that you saw that we used for the, uh, the lake. But nonetheless, it's still pretty. I like it a lot. So, jump back up on here, check everything out. I like 
like it. I like those too. You know, I'm almost gonna call it. I think this looks like petrified wood. But there's moss growing on it, so which means it would be damp, which means it's not. But I'm gonna go against signs here and say this is petrified wood. Just for the sole purpose of uh, saying that this path will never be, you know, corroded or taken away. But here's just like some of the uh, texture and details. Very nice. It's a sneak peek. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I fucking love watching this thing. I can watch this thing like a million fucking times. I have watched this thing like a million fucking times. Let me uh clear some stuff up here. Alright, cool. Um So we've got some absolutely brilliant fucking questions coming in. This is why I fucking love you guys. This is why I love getting people started from the fucking start because you bring up points that we we might not have thought of, um, like a like an exe for you guys to walk around in the game. That wasn't a plan. It it wasn't not a plan because we didn't want to do it. It simply wasn't a plan because we've been so fucking busy making this game and and putting shit together for you guys to show you guys what we've been doing so far. Like it's not enough for us to show you what the systems are gonna be. We, we want to show you that the world fucking exists, okay? And we're already working on the next part. Uh, we're already working on adding um, the next parts of the world to the entire landscape. Uh, but we we didn't even consider the idea of, of creating a, an EXE and putting it in a spot where everybody can download it as they want and just kind of explore the world as we've got it right now. Um, you know, I was going to do a lot of streaming. I got plans to stream developers making the game and playing with assets and adjusting things. I think players like that. I love watching that kind of shit, especially for a game I'm into. I don't like just sitting here waiting for updates every couple of months. I would, I would have ESO, for example. I would have loved to have watched a live stream of you know two or three developers um, messing around with some of the stuff uh, in the game, getting shit set up. And I know some people find that shit boring, but I think a lot of gamers would be into that kind of shit. So. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, and so the path that goes from the cave all the way to the spire for the video, uh, the the what's going to wind up being our dark spire um, that just looks like kind of a gray skyscraper is actually, yeah, mo every one of us are nerds. We wouldn't be here if you're not a fucking nerd. Seriously, like, if you're not a nerd, why the fuck are you here? You're in the wrong damn spot. But, um... I don't even remember what the fuck I was going to say. Oh, so the path to walk from the cave to the spire, um, I'll even release the image of it. You can look at that image. Looking at that image, comparing it to other games, you probably think, ah, oh, it'll take me like five minutes, ten minutes tops to, to walk that path. That's a good 45-minute walk, the path. Um, it might actually be about an hour uh, to walk at a, at, a, at a normal speed. No, sprinting speed. Is about 45 minutes. Walking speed is like an hour and 10 minutes or some some roughly like that. Uh, keep in mind, we have also not... I mean, there's a lot of things we, we haven't touched yet. Um, we have a basic character model in there. The beauty of Unreal Engine 4 <coughs> is there are a ton of, of character model assets that we can purchase for like 50 fucking bucks and edit them to fit exactly what we want. And they've got a lot of coding already in them. And that's going to save a shitload of time a shitload of money, a shitload of resources, and it's, I mean, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, see, so, Lust Blood. I don't recognize the name, uh, but you bring up something that's huge for us, something that we're going to be doing. We want to release, um, and this, this was on the table. This is something we are hopefully going to be able to do. 
I don't see why we can't do it, but you know, you know how this shit works, man. If I say we're gonna do it and something keeps us from doing it, it's a, I don't know. I don't know what kind of shit can keep us from doing it. But so one thing I we do want to release is a uh, like a player controlled room, right? Think think X Men and their um their little uh, war room where they it's a holographic room, the combat trainer or whatever. Uh, we want to release something like that where players can pick up any of the classes we currently have all the abilities for, um, set their tier. They can even pick out some gear for it, uh, tier appropriate, obviously. And they can they can set the, the difficulty of, you know, if I want to take on group mobs or if I want to take on dungeon bosses. And they can play out these experiences. And eventually I want to be able to have people link to those. So I have a, a six-player link to be able to, to hook up with your buddy, size of our group, six players. Um, to have EXEs, and a part of that would be that players promise to send us all of their data files at the end of the week, like every, I don't know, fucking Wednesday or some shit like that, uh, so that we can we can track the data. On top of that, players being able to make reports, if you find issues, find bugs, I think this will allow us to give nearly unlimited amount of, of data collection for us, but also give you guys access to the game without it having to be online, uh, so that you can start collecting combat-related issues. Because how often has combat been a major fucking disappointment? And if we can provide a way to collect and gather that information, to give you the capability to send in tickets and send in reports, then that gives us a ton of time where we don't have to be online all the time that we can start making corrections. So it's it's definitely in the plans. So, yeah, our alpha beta tests are going to be extensive. Um uh, for everything, I mean everything, every fucking, if you trip on a fucking rock, I want to know about it, because this shouldn't happen, if you get stuck on a, if you get stuck on a motherfucking set of stairs, and anywhere else on the stairs, you can move the fuck on up the stairs, but there's always this one fucking part of the stairs that you get stuck on, like there's an invisible wall, I want to fucking know about it, because as a goddamn gamer, that shit drives me to fucking sane, and I know, I know, that's ambitious. That might be overly ambitious. But I think in order to create a real MMO that real gamers are going to fucking love, you absolutely need to be ambitious. I, it's just, it's what it is. And we've outlined a cost projection of roughly 15 to $20 million. And I know that sounds like a lot of money for an MMO. It's really not that much. Uh, we've got a lot of assets that don't cost that much. A lot of people... Who are young, new to the field, that don't cost that much, that we're still paying excellent salaries for, but or will pay ex excellent salaries for, but it simply just won't cost two hundred fifty fucking thousand dollars to some guy who thinks he's worthy of a two hundred fifty thousand dollar paycheck because he released three fucking MMOs, and all the MMOs he released suck. Why would I pay that individual anything more than a hundred? Why would I even pay him a hundred k? You're not. You're not a high ball to me just because you, you released an MMO previously. That's awesome. What does that mean for me? What have you done for me as far as those MMOs go? So when it when it comes to building this company, and this is how I did my, my first company, which was successful as all shit um, <clears throat> before PTSD hit. Um, but the way that I ran my first company was it ain't about getting big names in it's about getting young talent in hungry motherfuckers who see our entire market our entire economy as a place where it's difficult as shit to, to get anything you have to come in as like an unpaid intern or some shit and right now yeah we're volunteers so that you know that's that's a little rough but we do offer term sheets we do offer compensation under the guise that we're gonna have successful funding obviously i can't pull this money out my ass these are conversations we always have beforehand um and once we're funded, those conversations won't ever have to be had. But I mean, it's it's about paying people, not who are who think they're qualified to do the job, but people who are qualified to do the job. So we might wind up with a couple of big names, sure, but it's not our aim. It's not our focus. We care more about the quality of the game than the quality of uh, not the quality of the people, because we have quality of the game relies on the quality of the people, but the perceived quality of the people is irrelevant to me. What did when you when you come to me with a resume? I'm checking your fucking resume. That's all there is to it. You can ask Knight's Knight. He uh, we we talked and he showed me shit because I wanted to see what else he had. And he 
he had a lot to offer, and it was difficult for me to say, nope, all of our all of our voice acting crew, something I never thought we'd have. We have a full voice acting team, um, which is going to cost considerably less than any other voice acting crew out there, and these motherfuckers are fantastic. I mean, they're absolutely fabulous. They are incredible, and this is stuff we're going to start putting in the information releases. We're going to start releasing voices of, of the characters so you can understand how they'd sound, their dialects, the type of tone they take, stuff like that. So, anyway, so... Uh, <coughs> do we want the answer to that, Crave? All right. Sorry. I usually have somebody here reading. Check is on vacation. So, what do we got here? Stair navigation is ambitious. Why? It's still... A <laughs> uh, BNS had issues in several areas and has been out for a while. Yep, absolutely... Um, what have you done for me lately? Yep, that's stuck in my head now. Thanks for that. I actually wasn't talking about the song. Marine Corps recruiting. Uh, we we ask with them, what's in it for me? And what have you done for me lately? Those are huge motivators for us. Uh, we're not. I'm not running this as a CEO. I'm not running this as, as you know, as, as hardcore as, as Marine Corps recruiting would. And for those of you who have ever recruited in the Marine Corps, you know exactly the fuck I'm talking about. Um, unless you recruited in one of them easy ass areas and I, I fucking hate you. I really do. I fucking hate you guts. Um, no, I don't, but you know, whatever. Um, we're, we're not, we're not going that hardcore. Our entire team is built on talent, passion, and, and, um, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, Uh, Sindin says, okay, it's a long way to release, but what is about localizing and localized voice, voice actors? So, <coughs> Uncle Sam wants you. Um, I don't really know what that question pertains to. Uh, I will, so, we actually had no plan on doing any voice acting on this game at all. Like, uh, the obvious grunts and, and typical sounds, but no, like, voice acting, acting, acting. Um, I hired Knight, who's coming into the sound team, who really, I mean, I, he he kind of nagged his way into a voice acting role. Um, he he's now become the uh, voice actor producer. He he deals with all production there, all all organization of it, and all that stuff. Uh, and he's he's put together a, a very talented team. And the stuff he's shown me so far is like, how the fuck could you not? And at the price. Uh, that we are paying our voice actors. I know some games. What Swotar spent like a hundred million, um, or something like that on voice acting. Um, then you had ESO spent like a hundred million on voice acting or something like that. We're not going to be going with those numbers. We don't need very famous voice actors to do this job. We need young, talented voice actors, and there are hundreds of young talented voice actors just like there's hundreds of young talented developers they need guidance they need direction they need leadership they don't need to and this is just what people don't fucking understand and and I could tell immediately if you lack any leadership capability the things you bitch about are they don't have experience they don't have experience um yeah we I'll get into that next week again um any true leader knows experience is nice, but experience is far from the end all. Experience is far from the first thing you look at. Leadership matters way more than experience. Experience is a nice fluffy thing to put on the resume. At the end of the day, there are still just as many, if not more, MMOs that weren't that have never released that had just as much experience as MMOs that that released. There's there's no no data out there at all that represents that an experienced team has a better chance of releasing an MMO than an ex inexperienced team. The issue has nothing to do with experience. It has everything to do with leadership. Do you, and understanding really what, what it takes, do you understand how difficult it's going to be to build an MMO? Have you ever led anything? Anything. Do you understand your leadership style? Do you know how you're going to lead? Do you know how to manage people, task manage people, put them in the right spot so that they succeed instead of putting them in spots so you're paying them, but they're not doing anything? Uh, it's it, it comes down to a lot of those elements. 
And those are the real, real issues, especially in the MMO market. Everybody puts so much faith on, oh, well, look, he released 12 freaking games. Cool. All 12 of those games crashed and burned. They fucking sucked. They released. Awesome. They were shitty games. So who gives a fuck? Honestly, who gives a fuck? I don't. As a gamer, I don't give a fuck. As a gamer, I get more pissed when they sell me on the game somebody's made than anything. That shit drives me fucking nuts, okay? When you throw your fucking name out there, you might as well be fucking name-bombing me. And I got no respect for people that name-bomb in real life, let alone people that name-bomb. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. Unless you did EverQuest 1, uh, Final Fantasy 11, Eve. Oh, fucking Eve, man. Hold, talk about a new life. Jesus. Um, well, WoW was made up of developers from all those other teams. Uh, maybe even The Secret World? I don't know. And a couple of other classic games? I don't give a fuck. I really don't. You want to lay down Wizard 101 to me? No. You're not? No. I don't give a shit. Seriously, don't. I don't. Yeah, Star Citizen has no fucking experience. They got a lot of money, though. And a dude that, that's good at making those types of single-player games. Nobody ever talks about lack of experience there. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's the market we're in. Anyway. All right. So... That's that's that. Wants to know if you have French and German, etc. Lust Blood, we are going to work our butts off on fighting um, to to have enough people involved that we 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 can put together teams to create those transitions, those um those conversions, data conversions. Because I don't want to see half-ass translations. I don't want to see people who primarily speak English or some shit like that who who are converting it over to French and then you wind up like the Japanese conversion to English. You wind up with some, some text that's like, uh, you buy coin now, good, yeah? What? So that right there, we want to do it. It's all about having the right people in the right place to do that. And it's something that we're pushing for. And it's something we're really going to push for from what well, we pushed for from the beginning. Um and that's that's really pushing more towards having the players involved in this game. The more people we have involved, the more interest, the more talent we can we can bring to bear, the more things we can get done at a much less cost than any other MMO has ever done it. So, uh, yeah. So, Google Translate for the win. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Um, that's acceptable in some areas, but even Google Translate fucks some shit up. So. I cannot, honestly, I cannot launch a game that is relied on Google Translate to to go into another language. I would feel like I just insulted everybody of that language. So that that will not be a thing uh, because I respect those gamers and I value uh, their capability to understand what the fuck is going on. So uh, ultimately what it will come down to is putting together a team for each language Um who actually speak the language, not because they went to school, but because they actually speak the fucking language. Um, and, and having them work with people who speak English as a first language, who understand the language, and then, you know, helping bridge that gap so that there's a fluid transition. It's just, you know, it's it's about going about things more intellectually instead of the quick buck way. Um, it's, it's something that I, I absolutely pride myself on, so... <coughs> <laughs> Only thing that was good about Wizard 101 was the housing setup. Everything else was not very good. Um, we do have a Swedish voice actor. Uh, Steel, yeah, I don't know shit about the housing setup. Um, can we just say Wizard 101 was a kid's game um, that was a pay gate and a half. Like, I, I made my kids stop playing that shit the first time they tried to go to the second level or the second area, third area. Yeah, because it was open area... And then the city, and another open area, and then to go into that, you had to pay. Nope, fuck off, I'm out. So, anyway, that's that. All right, so. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's 12 plus, and that's a recommended age, okay? Recommended, it's not required. Um, yeah, so. You got to see the flyover. You see these images. These images will be up on the website um, in a couple of hours. I'm having an issue sending them to Corey, even though she's already received them once. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's a thing for some reason. 
Uh, I'll get that resolved. We'll get the, these images up. Uh, I will make sure to put a <clears throat> a tag at the end of all of these images. Low definition. I'll put LD high definition or standard definition rather. I don't know. I'm trying to recreate the wheel. I'll put SD high definition. We'll put HD at the end of it, so you can you can see that before you even open up the image. It's probably not even gonna fucking matter. Most of you are rather fucking intelligent. It's really for the people coming down the road. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I can't. I just assaulted a bunch of people that haven't even come here yet. Uh, they're gonna see this shit and be like, "Fuck that dude." Um. Anyway, so head over to Facebook, like our Facebook page. Um. Or if you're not into Facebook, head over to Twitter and follow us on Twitter. We release a lot of information on there, and we will get back into. I promise. We will get back into posting um, at least once or twice a day on those media outlets. We've been absolutely, absolutely sidetracked with um, we're putting together raids uh, and and other system documents as well as this this entire video outline. Um, <clears throat> Knight and I have been all over this video for about two weeks now, and I'm pretty sure that our developer is, is a little upset with us because we just it was non <laughs> nonstop so. Um, you can, you can leave questions, uh, leave feedback, leave ideas. It doesn't matter. You do whatever the hell you want on these pages. All right. Uh, the best place though, for, for ideas, feedback, stuff like that is our forums. So head on over to our forums and all the links are down below. Head on over to the forums, sacramentgame.com. Uh, sign up on the website for the news feed. sign up on the forums, the forums right now. I want to let you all know they're open right now. They will be closed off after Kickstarter to uh to paid that's because as a gamer seeing all these other forums throughout the last 10 years letting a lot of free-to-play people into these forums tends to cause a really hostile and 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 yeah vicious environment one that i'm not a fan of i actually avoid uh free-to-play forums for a very specific reason uh open forums for very specific reasons so we will have a um <clears throat> I don't want to call it a paid access forums, but it, but it is um, a paygate forums. It's going to be like a dollar a month or some shit like that. It, 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 it's not going to be expensive. Uh, and then it's going to be like if you if you donate, I don't know, ten dollars, you have unlimited access to the forums, some shit like that. So um, but, you know, it's uh, it's hard for me to do that because it, it feels like I'm just trying to get money out of people to fucking see our forums. You can see the forums. You just can't post to them. Um, but the reality is, I want that that hostile environment gone. I don't want it to be a part of this. I've seen it in other games. I've seen what the fuck it does. I've seen games that had a paid forum that opened it up to everybody for free, and how quickly it went. It went absolutely just batshit crazy. I refuse to have that here. We want to protect the people that actually give a fuck about this game. I don't really give a fuck about people who who have an opinion about it, but don't give a shit about it. If, if you're not going to help contribute to this game, go fuck your mom. Seriously. I don't give a fuck if you hear me say that shit. Go fuck your mom. So, I'll probably get, like, blasted on that or some shit. I don't care. Uh, and volunteer form. So, that's also down below. If you have any developing skills. Uh, we're using C++, especially. Um, Unreal Engine 4. Uh, any animation skills. Any... Fuck, if you're good at, at, at uh, social media stuff, you like to just uh, post things, social media, whatnot, sign up. Come on over and, and talk to us. We're not taking any more lore writers. We're not taking any more uh, voice acting. Um, I know nobody really knew that that was there, maybe. Uh, unless Night Knight says so specifically, you'll have to contact Night Knight for that kind of stuff. Yep, ZBrush. Uh, mm, fucking Maya. Maya, even though that shit is expensive as fuck. Christ, man. And it's Maya, not Mayan. Um, I can't even get Maya to talk to me. Like, in order to get um, a, a lot of licenses registered, you can't just purchase them. You have to talk to a representative. I can't even get them to call me back. So, I don't know what the fuck that's about. So, anyway. Alright. So, yeah. So, head on over there and do those. Uh, I believe PayPal method is is there, Hudika. If it's not, we'll make triple sure that, that you have the capability to use PayPal. I prefer PayPal. I don't like putting my credit card on any fucking thing. So, I feel you. I'm all about PayPal. Um, so, that's that. Yeah, I agree with you. 
we will have that there i promise if it's not there right away i don't know why it wouldn't be there right away but i'll i will look into it right now and make sure that it's there it might af accidentally become functional okay if you guys see that our donate button becomes functional don't fucking touch it as much as you want to don't fucking touch it all right i've got a huge thing about not accepting money until we can show you that we're doing something with this and while i feel that video we just showed you might be considered that i'm not considering that until kickstarter all right integrity is huge with me and that's something that i push for and strive for on every fucking level so kickstarter is the first place you can you can donate um just in case the button accidentally becomes functional because we're, we're testing it out and getting it to work don't touch it let me know send me an email there's tons of emails on the website for you to send emails to uh send me an email Send me a private message on the forums. doesn't really matter, and I'll, I'll get it resolved right away. Um, for for me to, to sit here or any of us sit here and pretend like I'm going to see that when it happens, no. There's there's way more of you than there are of me. You're going to see it way before I do in most cases. So is there will be setups currently closed? Yep. All right. There we go. So Crave just said what I said. A little shorter. All right. So love you guys. Swear to God. Fucking love you guys. Um, I love gamers, especially gamers that want to see change in the fucking industry. I absolutely fucking love you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw as much as I did. We will work on getting the EXE created and and find a place where we can, we can distribute it. Uh, we have not looked too hard at distribution. We've looked into distribution. Obviously, this was a part of our initial setup, but we have not engaged that. So we will work on getting that done. Every time we get a new push, every time we get a new build, um, I don't have any fucking problem at all having uh, the build put out there. There will be limitations. Obviously, I don't want to release the whole fucking game um, on an EXE. Because uh, otherwise, you know, why the fuck would you guys come play the MMO if you can play the whole fucking game by yourself? Um, <clears throat> not you. Uh, because the, the people here watching this now are really into the MMO aspect of it. So playing solo probably wouldn't be all that enjoyable. Um, but yeah, so... We'll work on that immediately and get that figured out as soon as possible. Uh, stay focused on the forums and our social media uh, for updates on that because once we have that available, we'll be shooting it out there to let you know. Uh, this video that you saw is up on YouTube. Uh, night, night, go ahead and unlock that for me um, and then send me the link once again uh, and I will get that posted to the website so that you can have access to that video whenever the hell you want to drool about it. And love you guys. See you soon. I'm not gonna put up the outro video uh, because I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like trying to find it right now. So you know, there's, there's, I don't even know why the fuck this. Oh, I found it. All right. I am gonna put up the outro video. Maybe. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Yeah. So there we go with that. All right. Love you guys. Oh, let me move something. I always think about this after. After. And I I hate it because I want to be able to to use it. But, all right. So, where am I at? So many windows. So many windows. I need a production manager over here. Stat!